I'm gonna let all the air die down and start lighting these guys. Oh, this is starting to stink. First, let's see what a fully closed system looks like. All the air flows are pretty much straight and 293. Now the smoke's got nowhere to go because there's no inlet, so it's just kind of chaosing around. Now let's give it a little draw. I had been hoping that the smoke would last a little longer so we could see a little better. There's a bit of the donut roll going on. I set a lot of these at different heights so that we could judge the uh, airflow at different places essentially and I pretty much had the idea that uh, all the air was pretty much going to be going straight back that's definitely a good example of how it's traveling almost straight along the floor and with the height of these two incense sticks right here some of the smoke does go up some of it doesn't let's raise this one notch and as I suspected, all of it is now going straight backwards. Let's reposition a few of these so that we're making more smoke in the back. And hopefully it'll loop around a lot better. Well, I think that's just about it. So really, I could not be too much happier with this thing overall, and I'm looking forward to putting it to use. The overall air currents seem like they're really happy because I can't smell anything out here. I've checked preliminarily around all the edges, and I haven't seen anything like that yet. One of the original ideas I had when I designed this was the old uh, chemical booths in chemistry class at school where they had the hood that could raise or lower. And uh, this was just about the best I could do, I think, overall, and not too bad. And so I hope you enjoyed watching all this, and big thanks to John Bad Grendel's Forsyth for 
his inspiration or the inspiration he gave me to do it from seeing his videos. Uh, thanks to everybody who commented on where things uh, are, where they need to go. Uh, a lot of really good notes came out of it. The grounding issue is definitely a big one for the fan. I'll be doing that in the immediate future. Uh, but it's not something that really needs to be covered at this point probably hook up the other auxiliary switches and that kind of thing but yeah so I got to clean it up definitely a lot of uh, incense going on and one thing I'm seeing is that maybe I should uh, get some window screening and put that above or rather under or over or however you want to define it let me put this out first before I actually raise the thing So in a few days worth of tests, there's definitely some stuff that's falling through and I'm thinking maybe some window screening would prevent that from happening. I don't know how much extra force that would put on the uh, motor to keep uh, yeah, extra drag rather. Overall this seems like it's really working pretty well and we didn't even kick it into uh, 428 CFM. That's definitely quite the ring of uh, dirt going on here already. That was pretty fast. And as it happens, it seems the darkest spot. Well, it's probably just shadow that's making it look dark under there. But I wanted to get one last look at the filter here. Uh, looks like once that side gets clogged up, I can simply flip it around and use this side. And another thing I could do is get a smaller, say, one by one foot filter. This. 36 by 24 was a modest $20, 25 shipped to me, so it's definitely not unreasonable. However, depending on how fast you have to reuse it all the time or get new ones, that could be an issue because then it'll start piling up into actual money. However, if I could get like a one by one square off underneath here, there's no way to lift this out of here to show what's going on there under, under there anymore. But essentially, get a smaller one fit it in here perhaps or as I mentioned previously wall this section off get a 24 by 24 filter and use this as tool storage doing the cleanup on this there's a lot of ash going on and other small pieces of debris I uh, found that you can't simply pick stuff out of here without pulling it all the fibrous material and running the vacuum clean over it will get some things but there's always going to be a little stuff left behind it looks like so the battery's about to die on this i got to get going and cracking on uh, editing the video hopefully i can have this tonight it'll be the single fastest turnaround shot in the morning edited in the afternoon posted by the evening video i've done to date so thanks for watching see ya